Hello everyone, this is Matt from MMODen.com, welcoming you to another episode of Inside the Den, where we take a quick peek at a game's features and overall gameplay. Now today, Inside the Den, we're going to take a look at Loco or Lands of Chaos Online. This is a 3D fantasy MMO with shooter, a bunch of shooter type uh, RTS, there's a lot of different things going on here, it's quite a mix. The game is published by a la playa and if you like what you see in this video and you want to learn more about loco or lands of chaos online check it out over at mmoden.com or you can click the link below alright here we go so let's get logged in now this game uh, is that kind of a mix of first person shooter uh, may remind you a lot of games like savage 2 um, has aspects of uh, dota league of legends uh, Heroes of New Earth, stuff like that. So I did already create one hero, but I'm going to go through the um, the create hero, show you guys the different things that you can you can look at. And now you have 18 different heroes you can pick from. The game gives you uh, a couple of permanent cards to start out, and then it also gives you a couple of 30-day trial cards, so you can you can check out a wide variety of the different heroes. Now you've got a lot of different hero types. As you can see here, you can see statistics. You can also see the information on what, what you use and, and the type of character that you have. So if you're a uh, more of a melee type fighter or uh, like this, staff throwing weapon, fist weapon, also a melee wand. This is the character that I did create already. And you can, like I said, you can see the statistical uh, uh, kind of setup that, that that hero has. So let's run through these real quick so you guys can see the different options that are available and then you do have um, what looks like some purchasable so I do not have the hero card and it's gonna be all six of these guys so honestly I don't know if you earn them or if you can buy them in the game shop there you actually uh, can actually play this character but it looks like there are five that you ha are purchasable so let's go with let's go with this one right here. So pick that card, create hero. There's not a lot of, as you can see, there's not a lot of customization. You just pick the hero, and then once you play a game, you can pick which which hero you want to actually use in that game. So let's jump in a game real quick. We're gonna do novice map. Um, we'll run through the tutorial so you guys can see that real quick. So the game does use uh, WASD. Welcome to the world of Loco. Yep. I am your trainer. You're the I trainer. First of all, you need to learn you can how you move your heroes. Move. So there you go. WASD moves you around. Two W's dash spacebar. You, you jump. Change, of course, you can jump. Well, now show me what you have learned. Move by yourself. So she wants us to move to that area. You can learn the art of move to the highlighted. So it's dash, jump up this ridge, and you can zoom there you go, zoom out with the mouse wheel. And as you can see there's a there's an energy there at the bottom so when you are dashing you can only dash for so long. It keeps people from just dashing all over the place. Let's learn about comp. You will love the hero you have to attack form attack combination. So it does have a nice little feature, the targeting, where you can right click and you can actually lock in on a on a monster or 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 a character that you want to. Remain locked onto your target by hold now. Press the tab key while holding. As you can see, you can also right. So you could switch your you targets by pressing the tab key. Press the shift key to select a, a party member. And here's your skills section. It's kind of neat because you do have a lot of like different options uh, of how you want to customize your character as you're going through the the battle. Change up uh, the skills that you use, whether it's these ultimate skills or the regular skills. Some of them are locked until you reach certain levels, things like that. So we'll pick that one. And that you one. Skill. 
You can use skills you have, you have mastered some skills. This place is One other thing is you can take in if you want to go uh, and you want to use just their basic mode. You can take in. Uh, you can take and you can just set the game and the game will pick not only your skills for you but it will also pick um, it will also pick your uh, your items the, as the as there is like a, a ca not a cash shop but a, an item shop so you can you can buy items um, in the in the in each individual battle and so that'll help to increase your your character's uh, skills and whether it be like invulnerability, attack, or all those different things. But we'll get to that in a little in a second. Let's move on. There we go. Mastered that. Let's move on. Hopefully, I can get through that. This and so let's uh, let's. So you guys saw the basics of that. You can you you guys can run through. Let's play a uh, a novice map. Just me versus the computer. Hopefully, we can have this go pretty fast. So. Five for ready. So this does actually bring other players in, and we're going to play against the computer. There we go. So we get started in five seconds, and I'm going to select the the basic mode. So let it. You'll see it'll give me two options here in a second. As we're loading up. I can tell you that uh, I haven't yet had a, had to wait very long. So here you go, beginner mode or expert mode. So we're gonna go with beginner mode. Let let and as you see, the game chose Hungry Ghost level one. It will also update that for me. Um, it will buy items, including the the potions that you see down in the bottom uh, for F1, F2, stuff like that. It'll buy those. So let's take a look at grant skill immunity for 10 seconds. Uh, spell remove so if I have a like a stun lock or something like that I can use that so let's get cruising along and just like other games when you play in this mode you, you know you do want to hang out kind of behind your minions let them cruise along we're locked behind this wall right now for another five seconds let them cruise along kind of take the brunt especially when you're uh, the character type that I'm playing um, as uh, actually we'll, we'll go this way as uh, I don't have a ton of hit points, and the uh, it's better to let the uh, let the minions take the brunt of the damage. But I do want to you know get out here and make sure that I'm getting experience and leveling up stuff like that, so we so we can get more skills. Obviously, just like any game, the more skills you have, the more the higher level you are, the more damage you do. Let's go ahead and use this skill so you can... Ah, didn't turn around. Let's get behind my minions. Let this thing re regenerate. There we go, let's use it now. There we go, now we got our first kill. These tower of punishments are just like uh, any of the protective towers. They're they're on both sides. I believe they're called something different on the other side. Let's go ahead and use my skill to try and take this down a little bit. Let me get this out of the way so we can. Oh. I hit my potion too late. It's three seconds until resurrection. So then there's these pretty cool, you know, you see these boss type monsters that you have to go through once you get to your uh, past like that tower punishment and then past a couple of other things and get into the base. So there's some pretty cool little features like that. Get away from that guy a little bit. There we go. Pretty low in health, but they're chasing me around. 
Looks like they got taken out or they retreated. It's nice because uh, as soon as you use these, uh, like the healing potions and stuff like that, the game automatically buys them for you again, so you don't you don't have to uh, don't have to repurchase them or run back to the item shop. The game it, it, that's if you're in the easy mode. Now, if you're in the uh, the expert mode, you, you're going to have to handle all that stuff yourself. Ah. Uh, my minions are not taking damage like they should be. Nice thing is, is one thing that, that's, that's uh, different from a lot of the other games that are like this is the respawn is really pretty quick so you're not out of the game very long at all which I like because so many times in those other games in like League of, League of Legends it seems like the respawn time sometimes is, takes forever so let's take this guy out Get my minions finally showed up save me from getting whacked And like like I said, you saw that the uh, the game bought this for me. So I bought a vital braces, max hit point, 450 physical damage, 100 magic defense, 100 reduced skill damage by 5%. So you'll see those come up as we go along. I'm all by myself out here. We don't want to do that. Oh, I couldn't get out of there. I was stunned. So one thing, at least if you practice, you know that the uh, the computer opponent isn't just going to uh, kind of just sit there and take it. Let's see, the computer picked up this vampire potion, recovers two points by 20% of damage dealt for 20 seconds. That's kind of a cool little cool little piece, especially if you're going to take and See if we can take this guy out. There we go. I didn't get that kill, but at least he's out of the way. I can move on. Need to start moving forward, or else I'm not gonna be able to finish this before uh, before I have to go. So as you can see, let's see if we can run run in here real quick. Show you guys what the enemy base looks like. So you see, there's different the different uh, like the temple here. I'm gonna beat on that. And the main objective is actually to take out this the base piece right there. It's got a couple of tower of punishments protecting it. Like I said, you also have the the main NPCs, these guys running around that will uh, they'll do a lot to protect it too. But we actually have to take out both of these both of these base points. See, there's one on each side. We have to take those out before. Uh, we can actually move on. Let's see if we can get out of here before I die. Oh, survived maybe what one or two hit points. Our base is under attack, so we gotta head back there. But there are ladder points, so you can move up the ladder. The game does a good job of keeping you inside of the ladder that you belong. You start out at about a 1500 rating, and you slowly move up. Things like that. Um, and then you can buy additional heroes and, and, and stuff like that in the, in the game shop, as well as, uh, as you, as you complete games, you, you earn 
not only the rating, but you also earn uh, game money that you can outfit your your heroes with, uh, different items from the item shop with those too. So it's not all a, a cash shop. It has a it has a game currency that you can take and use that will um, let's use that that will allow you to uh, better your warrior so as you go into into battle you'll you'll do uh, better damage and and you're gonna need those things as you as you go up in levels and in, and higher into the end the, the the higher ladders and stuff like that but everybody, I am just about out of time. I hope you enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And if you want to play Loco Land of Chaos Online, you can read our full review on MMODen.com or click the link below. Till next time, thanks for watching.